everyone, it's Melissa, and on today's video, I will be showing you what jessiejamesbeads.com has sent me for being an ambassador for February 2022. I will go ahead and leave links in the description box for the following products. First item we are going to showcase today are these beautiful caged crystals and they come in rose gold, gold, and silver and there's little clear crystals on the inside. They're super lightweight, they're great for earrings or to do a focal design with them and they do come in a package of two. They're absolutely beautiful to work with. Next, we have these beautiful earring components or little charms. They have feathers on them with a gold cap on top, and they're part of the leftovers from one of their magical mystery bead box subscriptions. Sometimes they'll have a few items left over and they'll list them on their site for sale. Super lightweight. Those are going to be really cute for earrings or possibly even putting that little charm on top as well. It's totally fun to mix your metals as well, put some gold and silver. I really love mixing uh, silver and rose gold at the moment. We have this gorgeous strand in the Pantone color for fall and winter in Rhodonite. Beautiful crystal strand and some spacers to boho beads, beautiful pave bead. This is just a great mix. It pairs with so many other designs You can or colors. You can mix it with a purple, a gray, and some silver. It's super sparkly. I love that giant boho bead in the center with all the crystals with it. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's going to pair great with our next mix, which is one of their newer releases, Dark Academia. There are stars inside the universe nobody ever wrote about. I love their packaging. They pay so much attention to detail and just really tells a story to your piece. That's going to pair great with that. For the Academia mixes, there's two of them. This one's the dark one, and it also comes in light, beautiful beads. There's large beads. Look at these spacers. How cute are those? I'm going to go ahead and sort everything out, and we'll take a closer look. These are the beads inside the mix of Dark Academia. This one caught my eye. Look at this beautiful focal pendant. It's got a little rhinestone on top all ready to go. You just string it on a chain so it has that little bail. But it's also like a little locket. So you could put a message inside. Mother's Day's coming up. You could put the birthstones of all the mother's children or for your grandmother. And in this set as well, it also comes with lava beads and they do have a hole in them. So you could string them as beads or if you wanted to put like a little dab of essential oil like lavender and you would just go ahead and put it into that pendant and you would have like a little aromatherapy pendant. The best thing about this is you can always change it out. They do give you two lava beads if you wanted to kind of mix and match, but only one of them fits in there. But if you wanted to, you could add like a crystal in there as well. Just kind of sparkle. That's a beautiful pendant. Then the first thing that did catch my eye besides the pendant was these beautiful beads here. They're called sweater beads. And if you look closely at them, you can see the fibers of them. Hopefully that picks up on the camera. They're just kind of woven together like a knitted sweater. Super lightweight, so these would be great for earrings if you wanted to, if you just wanted that big statement piece. But these just make you feel all warm and cozy inside. I guess that's why they're called sweater beads. We have lots of metals. We have these ones here, and they've used these in a couple different sets. So I have quite a few of them. I think I'm going to pull them out for my little stash of beads and use them into this necklace. When I design with this beautiful bead mix, you have really pretty dark purple beads. These are an 8 millimeter, almost like a purple velvet. How gorgeous. And these ones here kind of raise on one side, and they are two toned. And for bean metal, they are really lightweight fairly large hole. Probably put a five millimeter or 0.5 millimeter leather through that. Beautiful big crystals. These are like 14 or 16 millimeters and they do include the bead caps that will sit right on top of that. And the bead caps have holes on them so maybe you can dangle something from them if you wanted to. Kind of do like a little cage design. That'd be fun to play with. And some little metal beads here and a gunmetal finish. And those are really large hole as well. And you have some glass beads and ovals and they are faceted. Ceramic beads, large hole. They've got some textured design on them. 
then some of these ones here. And these are in the, I think, the Bing Cherry mix. So you get a few more of those. I think I have a couple left over in my stash I can add in as well. And then you have some of these other crystals here. And then hematite beads, and these are really large hold. So you put those over leather, maybe knot it on some leather, and then put your pendant on it just to add that metal onto the rest of the design. And these beautiful crystals here. How pretty. Those would be cute to wire up for earrings or even maybe make a ring out of them. How neat. And you have these little like tree branches here or little sprigs of a tree. This is a beautiful mix. I cannot wait to design with it. And this is Dark Academia. And last but not least, we have a Jesse James Beads mini mix in Aurora Borealis. Always amazes me how many beads can fit into one of those little mini mixes. This is the beautiful mix in Aurora Borealis. It always amazes me how many beads can fit into that little container. So this is just the gorgeous bead. It's got like a twist cut to it and it's faceted. You have like a gold purple sheen on one side and then a darker purple on the other. I really love that color combo and I've noticed it on these little beads here and then these table cut ones here as well that it just kind of flows all together. And you have these beautiful pink pearls. It's like a champagne blush color. Gorgeous. And these ones remind me of little ice cubes. Just look at the faceting and the crackling in them and they are acrylic. Beautiful boho beads with the purple. You have some purple rhinestones and then the ball chain in silver and purple with silver bead caps. Just love their boho beads. They're always so unique and gorgeous. Tassels. You can't have a Jesse James bead mix without tassels. And you have some more tassels down here. You have some fuchsia mother of pearl. That's just going to pair so well with this design. And you have some crystals with an AB finish. That's going to go really good with the rhodonite strand and the dark alchemy um, bead set. Beautiful. And you have some little flower bead caps. You could use these as charms or spacers or even connectors. Those are going to be fun to create with. And this beautiful flower charm that looks like a hibiscus. You could always paint it if you wanted to, add some more pop of color, maybe glue a crystal on the inside. And the neat thing about this charm is where the top part is, that it's through the side. So you don't have to add a jump ring. You can just go ahead and string that onto your beading wire and it's going to lay flat and it's not going to lay crooked. So that's pretty awesome. Such a beautiful flower. You have some more aqua tassels here and then you have these gorgeous beads and you get six of them. They're like little leaves and they fit into that color tone and then they're side drilled. So how pretty is that? Those are really neat. So this is just a beautiful mix in Aurora Borealis. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for further content, tutorials, and unboxing. And stay tuned for future projects with these beautiful mixes. Have a wonderful day!